hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. It feels like I've been trying to do this video for absolutely years. Um, I am now getting back on with the K40 laser bed. I just, I every time I try and do this, something happens, and th today I'm going to try and hopefully get the entire thing done. Uh, I won't be installing in the K40 yet because I'm going to do a full upgrade, so I don't want to put it in and just to take it back out. But it will be going in, obviously. But this should be the last video on building it, uh, unless there's, you know, a fire alarm or a nuclear winter or something, you know. Um, but that's probably my luck recently. Anyway, I'll show you what we've done so far, and then we'll, I'll catch you up, and we'll get to you know building it and stuff. Let's get on. Right, so this is the point we're at now. Um, in the last video, I was having to press the switches with my fingers to uh, the limit switches to tell the bed where in space it is. But I got bored of doing that with my fingers, so I hired another finger to do it for me. my little nod to Wallace and Gromit. So there's a few things I need to do to start off with. Um, first off, I got to attach the belt. At the moment, all I've got is them o like overlapping and then I've tied it together with a piece of wire. Um, and I'll show you a way of actually being able to do that so you can connect it quite sturdy. It should be enough for this purpose at least. Um, then I need to drill out a bit of the metal on the underside so that we've got a little bit more clearance so that the bed can go down a little further. So all I'm going to do is take out a bit of this so that it can lay flat on those screws. Doing that means that then I'll have to re uh, change our little finger pointer error um, that presses the um, limit switch. Once I've done that and I've sorted all that, we can start looking at cutting off the excess bits of PCB and coming up with a case. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to laser cut something or whether I will just 3D print something. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna leave it bare like that because I don't want it, any sort of things to be able to accidentally touch anything and break it. So a lot of them I've noticed they're coming loose, so I'm gonna have to double screw them, I think, uh, double bolt them, or use something like the Loctite, which I don't have. Now if we have a look, I'm um, going to show you in this light, yeah. Here and here is where those screws are, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill out a hole in each, and so hopefully then it should be allowed to go over those bolts, uh, the screws, just to give us a little bit more downwards momentum, or downwards, whatever the word is. Um, it can go down further is what I'm trying to say. Right, I've just gone around them and I've had to actually tighten up every single screw so they do come apart quite quickly with the vibrations of the bed. So I definitely advise either dub double not, um, nutting them or um, some Loctite or something like that. Right, let's see if that worked. Okay, so I finished connecting the timing belt. It's no longer connected via a piece of metal and it should not get connect, um, caught when it goes round now. I'll leave a little doer up there on how to do this. It's really simple. You only need a few objects that you'll probably have in the house. Um, next thing we need to do then is cut down the PCB and start putting it away, putting it in a box, make it look nice. Right, so I'm gonna cut the PCB down to the size I need it, but first I'm gonna have to cut these wires. They're gonna have to be cut eventually anyway and I'm gonna have to connect some sort of connector to them. Um, so I'm just going to give them a snip. I hate doing this. Right. Now I've marked, just loosely, sort of where I want to cut. So I'm just going to use my Dremel and do a bit of cutting.
Right, okay, so that's that done. Now I'm gonna put it back together. I'm gonna to take some measurements. I'm going to um, set up some connectors for this so it can all connect together. And I'm gonna laser cut something to um, house this all. Now I was thinking as well of integrating this magnet into it so I can actually stick it to the inside of the case of the K40 and so it can be moved if needed. Um, I also need to work out a um, set like a case to go on the top that will house both of them and an on-off switch which I haven't installed yet so I've got a lot to do but it's all sort of off-camera stuff because you won't want to see me just measuring all this and shoving a couple of crimps into this stuff so I will do that off screen and I'll be back soon okay so that's them connected up um, it's not the best but it will work now I'd like to do a test now I've taken it apart and so on I want to just make sure it's still working so Oh, so good. Please stop. Thank God for that. Okay, that's just. It's just so I need to tighten the belt up. That's absolutely fine. Right. Okay. So the next part is I need to measure up all the stuff. Right. So I've gone off and I've done a few designs, a few measurements, a few this, that, and the other. This is the box that's just going to hold the PCB with like the Arduino on it and everything, and it's just a bog standard box. Now I. Just, I, well, I am denied about having a magnet connected to this one, and I'm still not sure. I might just hot glue it to the side of the inside of the um, laser, you know, the same place where the adapter and all the power supply is and stuff, but I'm not sure. So that's that, pretty straightforward. This one, slightly bit more intricate, but not amazingly. I have done a hole in the bottom, and I'm going to stick this magnet in so that this can stick on top of the actual laser at the same place as you'd open up where the power supply unit goes in and it just means I can stick it there rather than having to uh, well I'm still gonna have to drill a hole in it but so I don't have to screw it down or anything um, and then this is going to be the top panel um, I believe that way around and this goes like this I've got to sand down a bit of the wood for where the actual um, let me just zoom you in where it's been soldered because it's it raises it up slightly which I knew it was going to but um so I've just got to hang on hands go on ski bud ski so I've just got to sand that down a bit now this border I'm not very happy with so I'm thinking about maybe making a little square to go around this that I'll just stick on the top um, just to hide the bit where the ribbon cable is and this border but I'm not 100% sure Second job, this is where the, um, what's it called, joystick will go, like that, but obviously I'm now going to have to move the pins to the bottom, which I was always going to do anyway, um, and then that should fit, but I obviously haven't had a chance to try it yet, but I measured it out, it should fit, I don't know. Um, and then it means that the whole of this joystick then is up through it, so I should be able to use the joystick no problems at all. And then being the big grown up, not being stupid kind of guy I am, I put, chose this switch as the on off switch because why the hell not? Um, I won't be having the light on, it's got a little LED light at the top, but um, it's just annoying. So I won't have that, but yeah. So let me show you what this looks like when it's all put together. One other thing I forgot to say, um, when this is all put together I'm going to have to change a bit of the coding because I had to um, turn the... LCD upside down so it's just a case of a few few lines of code that need to change it but nothing major even I believe I can do that myself I made the tolerances on this a little too much uh, too tight this time but such is life it does mean we don't need glue um right that didn't go well Okay, so that definitely didn't happen at all, not once. Um, but also, I did a few mistakes. So we got holes on the bottom and the top. Obviously, this one's obviously meant to be there um, for wires, possibly. Um, right, next what I want to do is desolder the joints on this. And I'm just going to solder them onto the back. I am, again, going to just use these connectors. Um, I could just solder it directly to it, but it just makes it easier to be able to plug and play and move it around and stuff. I don't have to think about having other connectors like I've had to do here, you know. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to desolder these and put them on the bottom so this can be 
shoved in the control panel properly and also I want to um, work out where the solder joints are on here and where they line up on here and then just file out a bit of it so it comes up flush with this um, so that's my next bit of work also I might as well install the silly button uh, silly switch I mean right sadly I've just gone upstairs and I'm editing the video so this is future me and um, I've lost some of the footage of me spraying the actual um, the panel and the, the case and everything um, sadly I bought a new uh, camera from Argos and the SD card is completely ruined um, I lost three full videos on it unfortunately but thankfully I didn't do all of my video of this one on it I'd already updated and uploaded all of what I needed and so on so I, I can't complain too much but unfortunately I've lost three full videos but that does happen but anyway I will now get back to where I was I will um, point out the bits I've done and it'll be quite self-explanatory considering the box is nearly made but you'll see what I mean right excuse the messy desk but I'm you know mid flow as it were um, this is what I've done to the control panel so far, and this will connect to this. Hang the on ski. Like so. But I'm going to be sticking in a magnet here now, so this can be magnetized to the actual laser, rather than screwing it down or super gluing it or whatever. Um, I just thought it would be easier to shove a one magnet. Hang on. A magnet in there, give it a bit of a push, there we go, and um, I'll glue that in so that it's just touching the surface so that we can actually put it on, it won't scratch the laser but it should keep it stuck there hopefully. Right okay so this is where we are at the moment, this is the magnet on the bottom and um, I've bought these little um, feet to go on the bottom, I'll put one on each corner and then I'm going to reheat the glue so that the magnet drops down and touches the surface so that these just hold it in place a little better and that the magnets as down as far as it will go with the the, dis the clearance of these feet. Originally this was going to go in a box of its own but I'm actually going to put it in the same box as all the switches and stuff. Might as well have all the all of the tech in the same place. Right, so this is where I am. Obviously, as you can see, I have sprayed down the front panel and I have also sprayed down the housing that it will go in. Um, I need to start gluing it all together and I also would like to start, I'd need to put the um, on-off switch connected to the power line, um, which isn't too difficult. But I'm gonna start sticking this first, I think, shall I? Let's get the on off switch sorted. So I'm just going to have a um, the switch connecting into here somewhere. Uh, I haven't decided where yet, but I'll do that now. With this type of switch there is an actual LED right at the tip, but I'm not having it on because they always fire directly out. You can stop that, you can sand it down and make it more diffused, but I always find it's right in my eyes and I'm, that I suddenly get blue spots everywhere I go or whatever colour the light is on this one. So I'm not going to bother with that. So I only need the two leads, and as I say, I'm just going to I'm going to cut the um, positive, and I'm just going to have this spliced in between the two. Pretty simple. Okay, easy cheese. Now I'm going to drill a hole in the back um, of this. Do you, <laughs> do you like the way I just covered up the hole? It was one of the old pieces, I just thought, do you know what, it doesn't matter. Right, I will drill a hole in it so we can get those out the back. I don't know how I've done this, right? The reason I decided to, I don't know if I said this, I don't think I did. The reason I decided I'd put this in here rather than the container I designed specifically for it is, I cut it down to size and I made sure it was all the right size. Um, that I, you know, randomly, I cut it down as far as close to all of those connectors as I was comfortable doing, and it is exactly the right size for this box, as in exactly the right size. There's no deviation. I can't, I've got no extra room. In fact, 
it's stuck in there if I lay, leave it in a little bit extra on one corner. So um, yeah, I thought, do you know what, that's a sign, I'll shove it in there. I'm just hoping that the magnet doesn't mess up the Arduino, but we'll find out, we'll find out soon. Okay, let's start putting this together for the first time, shall we? Oh, one thing I'm really proud of, I put a hole in case I need to re-upload new code, rather than having to work out where the hell it is later on in time. I'm really proud of myself for that. That's forethought, that is. Like I said, it just fits in there. In fact, it's a little bit tight, but I'm, I don't care. I'm leaving it like that. Right. Yeah, everything lines up, which is good. Okay, so this goes here. Obviously, I've got a huge amount of extra wire, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm way too lazy. Um, it's not going to cause any problems with heat or anything like that, um, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it, you know, bunch it all up. The thing is, in the future I might decide to change this all up completely and, you know, change completely the design. So, it does happen, not all the time, but it does. Well, I better rewire in the joystick before I do that. Um, I'm not going to rewire the joystick in yet because I need to change which, which way round it goes, so I'll leave that for a minute. That's my fine tuning bits later on. Next, what I want to do is um, sort out the um, joystick and I'll make sure that's going the right way around, etc. And then we can put it all together properly. Now, this set of wires here I will be extending because. Um, it means then I've got greater range because I wasn't expecting to have the all of the guts into this box. Um, I didn't have these wire. I didn't make these wires long enough, which isn't a problem. It's funny though, isn't it? Because I made all the other wires like stupid long. Right. This is the way they were originally. I might have to change them round, but I'm not sure. We shall see. Um. God, that's a bird's nest of mess in it. The obligatory 12 volt battery. This will also tell me if the um, magnet is interfering with the um, Arduino or not. Right. Positive. So, nothing so far. And still nothing. Okay, that's worrying. Welcome back to David Attenborough's The Nest. Um, I found out what the problem was. It was a wire had snapped on the actual PCB. It was something just to be manhandling quite a lot. So I've resoldered it. I'm just gonna put a bit of hot glue on it just to be a bit more safe. And then I'll put it back to where it was just about 200 years ago. I mean, two seconds ago for you guys. I have stuck it all together. Well, not stuck it all together. I've placed everything together and it all fits. It's not super snug and it is literally, I had to use a hammer to get some of those wires in, but you know, it, it works well enough. Now I think I'm going to, I don't know what to glue. I think I'm, I want to either glue the back, oh, the back and the top and leave the front panel or stick the front panel and the back the top and leave the back so it can come off. I think I'll do it that way around, but I'm gonna test it. I'm not stupid, I'm testing it first. Well, I say I'm not stupid. I mean, you know, I remember to test it before sticking everything together. All right, so let's give it a test. Oh, that's popping out again. And it is working. Oh, okay, that's when the bit goes over, that's fine. I can deal with that in a sec. Fine. So. Oh, wrong one. Um, that way. Perfect. Okay, it's all working. Um, the little bit of uh, issue here was just purely the uh, where it's connected. I just need to file a bit down. That's not a problem at all. Okay, I'm going to stick this all together now. Right, so there it is. It's all glued together. Covered in crud. Um, 
Next I would like to do the last job basically and that is to connect a power cord to this. It's going to be a 12 volt um, female adapter so I can plug in a 12 volt ad adapter to it. I nearly said adapter because I'm an idiot. Um, so I'm going to do that next. That's just a little bit of soldering and then we're pretty much done. Right, okay, so there is our connector. I'm going to just check it. I have plugged everything in yet. I haven't plugged the bed back in yet. But I just want to see if the display works, yeah. Okay, so that's all working fine. So now we can actually go and have a look at what it will look like when it's in. As I say, I'm not going to be putting it into the actual K40 today. Right, so there it is, all set up how it would be. The wires, I'm going to be drilling a little hole, I think, to go directly into where the power supply unit is and everything. But someone asked me the other day if the magnet was strong enough to hold it there and so on. This is not connected via anything other than the magnet. And although this is quite difficult to push up and pull up, the switch will turn on without... It does leap, look, if you push too hard. But it's... It's pretty stable, you know. Um, it takes quite a bit to push it. Don't want to scratch it. I'm I'm going to put a little bit of cloth over it. But yeah, so it it does work pretty well. Um, it sort of holds it there. I wouldn't, you know, use all my strength to push up on the button, but it does it does hold it. If if I'm not holding it down, if I'm not holding it down, I'm just trying to show you that I'm not doing anything nefarious. Then it wants to jump a little bit, you know. But it, it tends to hold it there. So that's what it looks like. What do you think? There you go. The end of a very, very long project, it feels. Every time I tried to start it, something would pop up and so on. So it's done. It's finished. As I say, I'm not going to be putting it in the K40 today. But I've got lots of projects coming up and lots of upgrades. And I want to do them all at the same time. Rather than putting the, the bed in and then having to take it back out again, I'd rather just have it all in at the same time. Um, I've come up with a few designs of things I've never seen done before, so it'll be interesting to see how they work as well in relation to the bed, etc. So stand by for all of that. Um, uh, as for all of the schematics and the coding and everything, that will be on my Patreon once I get around to writing it up properly. Um, it will be free. I don't charge for on my Patreon. I will, but not for things like this. Um, so if you want it, go, pop on over there. The link's in the description. If it's not there and it's a while's past, start hounding me, start sending me messages. Um, it's just that I've got a few bits to do with the coding. David's got to help me with a few bits on that as well. And there's a few bits of write-up I need to finish. But I've got so much on at the moment that I, I'm going to need to kick up the bum, I think, to get that done. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, leave a sub, sub, whatever. Um, and I will see you again next week. Thank you so much. Bye for now.